Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Yashallah. Call Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakadash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth, so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwathim that's keeping the faith and the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts, man, more precepts. <clears throat> this is a warning of times to come. Quick warning of times to come, man. People are wondering if things are going to get back to normal, and it's not. It's, it's, it's only going to get worse and worse and worse the more this devil start to show theyself. Because the more this devil start to show theyself, the more they're going to try to push certain things on us. They, they, gradu they have gradually done it over the years, but we haven't been paying attention. Well, some of us haven't been paying attention to it, such as the homosexual agenda. When I was young, man, it was not okay, right? You had to, you had to be deep in the closet. But now, if you catch TV on in the middle of the day and see a man kissing another man, <clears throat> talking about they got pills, uh, they could possibly save your life from HIV. <laughs> All right? So, the times have changed. And the seed of wickedness that have been sowed in this place, and they're starting to reap, right? And it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. So, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, and verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time, Thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. All right? It said, a time, right, that has never been. So, throughout all the history, man, all of the atrocities that has happened to our people, it's going to happen again. But this time, it's going to be so much worse. Salakia. Okay. Yo, this time it's going to be so much worse. <clears throat> so, just to give a, uh, a quick example of Jacob's trouble in the scriptures, right? Because it says, such as never has been, you know. So, let me see. That's a lot. I'm trying to find this script, man. This is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 7, and verse 1. Right? <clears throat> it says, It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken. And compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh and were tormented with scourges and whips. It says, but one of them that spake first said thus, what wouldest thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. So this is going into the story of the seven brothers and the mother who were basically tortured. All right, I'm talking about tongues pulled out, boiled, like alive, like in front of each other. All right, it ain't like they pulled out one person and then took him to another room. No, it was directly in each other's faces. All right, let me see. Let me see. Matter of fact, let me just read on. I'm going to just read to the first brother and then go to the mom, right? So it says, 
Verse 3, then the king, being in a rage, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot, which forthwith being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spake first and to cut off the utmost parts of his body, the rest of his brethren and his mother looking on directly in everybody's face. They dismembering this man and they finna cook him. It says, verse 5, Now when he was thus maimed in all his members, he commanded him, being yet alive, to be brought to the fire and to be fried in the pan. All right, Salak, not boiled, fried. It says, And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, saying thus, Yahweh power looketh upon us, and in truth hath comfort in us, as my shot in his song, right, which witnessed to their faces declared, saying, and he shall be comforted in his servants, right, so when you get to Revelation, and it speaks about the 144,000 uh, singing the song, and they were the only ones that could do it, that's Israel, right? So, Jacob's trouble, Israel. And we coming into that time. We coming into that time. Let me go back to Daniel, chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. It's going to get so bad. That the angel, the archangel Michael, gonna have to come save us, man. All right, it's gonna get bad. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. So worse than what we just read, worse than the atrocities that we read about in books like the Bullwhip Days that happened to our forefathers in the 1600s, and. and Several other books that speak about uh, different servitudes. Worse than the Crusades. Man, it's going to be bad. All right? Let me see. Oh, man. It's a lot. One more sec. One more sec. Yeah, it's going to get pretty bad out there, man. So a lot of people are wondering, um, what should we do? You got a lot of, a lot of people that's um, really thinking about taking whatever these people tell them to take. Uh, really just to keep the peace, for real, for real. And just to try to uh, get this society back pumping. But like I stated earlier, man, it ain't going to get better. This is, a, this is a kingdom that's no different than Egypt, no different from Assyria, Greece, Rome, so forth and so on. Right? No different than the Persians and the Medes. It's going to fall. It's falling right now. This society that's based off of all of those different societies of the past is making the exact same mistakes. So it's, doomed, it's destined to fall. All right? So what the only thing we really can do, first and foremost, is keep these works through faith. That's the first and foremost thing. Right? We not we we we're not supposed to be carnal people. We didn't try to we we've tried being carnal for a, a bit too long. Right? Even with the um the militarized so called black mind. It won't work because it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked because this beast is too big. This beast is the military. This beast is your local police force. This beast is the sheriff department. This beef or uh, this beast is CIA agents. This beast stretches from kings to presidents to to foreign ministers to so forth and so on, man. So you talking about gathering together a handful of so-called black, so-called Latinos, and so-called Hispanics, 
And it's a wrap, man. These folk can pass a decree and shut everything down. Power, water, everything shut down. See, a lot of our people think carnally. They really do believe that it's goodness in these people as though they will just allow you to enjoy cooling in the house while you revolutionize. <laughs> man, stop, man. No. Before they let that happen, the same way with, with um, who, who running this place. Before they let that happen, they'll shut this thing down. That's why that's why Obama ain't do nothing for us, man. Because before they let one of one of us in there, they'll shut it down. So the only thing we can do is this. Right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 32, and verse 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt come past me about with songs of deliverance. Them same songs that our forefathers were singing. Masha. The same songs that the 144,000 sing or will sing. Both. Because, hey, who knows who the, who the 144,000 are? Who knows who the one third are? But you best believe that song is being sang as we speak. All right. So, the Most High is going to be our salvation. And this is the beauty of the Most High. Because we His people, it's going to be a spectacular way that our salvation will be carried about. The same way it was in uh, the time of Egypt. That's why the Most High called this place that we're in now Egypt. Spiritual Egypt. Spiritual Sodom. It's, it's a spectacular it's going to be a spectacular event so the whole world will understand exactly who they was fucking with this whole time. All right. Let me see. First Corinthians 15 and 52. It says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. All right, these folk, they, these folk think that it's going to be us that's going to do something. Like, we're going to, nah, uh-uh. These things that we're we're in called bodies. This is a prison, All right? We we we're at our weakened state right now. This ain't the real us. We don't think on one accord. We, the majority of us, are not spiritual at all. This ain't the real us. This the prison state us. So when the Most High change us to the real us and these nations see it yeah man yeah this the book of let me see Jeremiah chapter 51 and let me see Where is that? Um, and passed. Hold on one second. Uh, 
Okay. This is Jeremiah 51 and verse 20. Matter of fact, um, verse 19. Yeah, verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Like what the Most High has for us, it ain't like everybody else because we're different. Right? It says, for he is the form of all things. Right? It says, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Because Jacob got his name changed to Israel. Israel had 12 sons, which became the nation of Israel. All right? It says, Yahweh of hosts is his name. That's the Most High's inheritance. Jacob's portion. Because that's the promise. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, y'all seed will be my people. I'm going to be their God, right? They're going to have to go through some stuff, but at the end of the day, that's going to be what it is, All right? Verse 20, it says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee Will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider? With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman? And with thee will I break in pieces old and young? And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid? I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, right, all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith Yahweh. All right. Let me see. Ah, oh, man. Where did I put that information? Yeah, okay. So, once we get through this trouble, because we have to get through this trouble, it has to happen. Because if we don't go through this trouble, then we won't get saved. That's what it means to be saved. These Christians that speak about being saved now, they have no idea what they're speaking on. They speaking uh, a slave-minded salvation, meaning the kingdom only comes after you die, but this society that you live in and the ways of this society will carry on until one day, you know, some smooth talking dude come out of wherever and tricks the nation to do this, that, that, and the third. No, uh, -uh no. All right? The tribulation comes. Through the tribulation, we get saved. We just read an example of a certain tribulation that happened to our forefathers and our foremother, right? In 2nd Maccabees. Clearly we know about the atrocities that happened in the current slave trade. So, hey, it's gonna get bad, man. But at the end of the day, you trust in the name of the Father through the Son. Kiss the Son lest he be angry, right? All in the, the spirit of truth and sincerity, all in faith, will be all right. Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. Most high willing, these precepts in this video was edifying. Hopefully, it was alarming.
right? But with that, I say Shalom. Call Halal Yim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Harakadash. Shalom. Shalom.